in my YouTube video channel of Engineering Graphics and Design subject, myself Arti Patel from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is second session of loci of point chapter. In this session, we are going to solve more example. So let us start with example of four bar chain mechanism. Two cranks AB and CD of equal length are connected by link BC and rotate in opposite direction as shown in figure. Trace locus of P. Here AB is equal to CD 35 mm, BC is equal to 120 mm, PC is equal to 40 mm and AD is equal to 120 mm. This is 4 bar chain mechanism. Here both cranks AB and CD are revolving. AB is a driver crank, CD is a driven crank. Now AB and CD crank connected by connecting road BC. Here P is a locus of point for one complete revolution of driver crank AB, the distance of P point is given 40 mm from C point. AD is a fixed road and the distance of AD is given 120 mm. Here, total 4 bar using, so this is known as 4 bar chain mechanism. First bar is AD which is fixed, second AB which is revolving, third one is CD which is also revolving and fourth one bar is BC which connect two crank AB and CD. So next let us solve this mechanism with dimension. First draw circle for B point, the radius of circle is equal to the length of crank AB 35 mm. Here AB is a driver crank, so locate uniform position of driver crank for complete one revolution. So divide this circle into equal 8 parts at 45 degree angle and Take direction of driver crank in clockwise. So locate end point of crank AB in clockwise direction as B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7 and B8. Next draw circle for C point distance of AD is given 120 mm and from D point draw 35 mm radius circle because the length of CD crank is also given 35 mm. So this circle indicate path of C point. Here the direction of rotation of CD crank is in anti-clockwise direction because AB and CD both cranks are rotated in opposite direction. Next find out the position of C1 to C8 crank on this circle for uniform position of AB crank B1 to B8 position. Here this two crank is connected by connecting road BC and the length of connecting road BC is given 120 mm. So take radius 12 cm, center B1 and cut arc on this circle and mark here C1 point, connect B1 C1, locate P1 locus point, the distance of P1 locus point from C1 point is given. 40 mm or 4 centimeter. 
नेक्स्ट टेक सेंटर बी टू रेडियस इज इक्वल टू कनेक्टिंग रोड बी सी ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर एंड फाइंड आउट सी टू पॉइंट कनेक्ट बी टू सी टू लोकेट पी टू लोकस पॉइंट डिस्टेंस ऑफ पी टू लोकस पॉइंट फ्रॉम सी टू इज फोर सेंटीमीटर नेक्स्ट टेक सेंटर बी थ्री रेडियस ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर एंड कट आर ऑन दिस सर्कल एंड फाइंड आउट सी थ्री पॉइंट कनेक्ट बी थ्री सी थ्री लोकेट पी थ्री लोकस नेक्स्ट टेक सेंटर बी फोर रेडियस ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर एंड कट आर ऑन दिस सर्कल एंड मार्क हियर सी फोर पॉइंट कनेक्ट बी फोर सी फोर एंड लोकेट पी फोर ऑन कनेक्टिंग रोड बी फोर सी फोर नेक्स्ट टेक सेंटर बी फाइव रेडियस इज इक्वल टू कनेक्टिंग रोड बी सी ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर एंड कट आर ऑन दिस सर्कल एंड फाइंड आउट सी फाइव पॉइंट कनेक्ट सी फाइव बी फाइव एंड लोकेट पी फाइव ऑन कनेक्टिंग रोड बी फाइव सी फाइव सिमिलरली टेक सेंटर बी सिक्स एंड फाइंड आउट सी सिक्स कनेक्ट बी सिक्स सी सिक्स एंड लोकेट पी सिक्स ऑन दिस कनेक्टिंग रोड नेक्स्ट टेक सेंटर बी सेवन रेडियस इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर एंड फाइंड आउट सी सेवन पॉइंट ऑन दिस सर्कल कनेक्ट बी सेवन सी सेवन लोकेट पी सेवन लोकस पॉइंट ऑन बी सेवन सी सेवन कनेक्टिंग रोड एट लास्ट टेक सेंटर बी एट रेडियस इज इक्वल टू कनेक्टिंग रोड बी सी ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर एंड फाइंड आउट सी एट ऑन दिस सर्कल कनेक्ट बी एट सी एट and locate p8 on connecting road b8 c8 the distance of p8 point from c point is given 40 mm next connect all this locus point p1 to p8 freehandly in form of curve so this is indicate locus of p point for one complete revolution of driver crank a b next let us solve example of oscillating link a link oa 80 mm long oscillates around o 60 degree to right side and return to its initial vertical position with uniform velocity meanwhile point p initially on o starts sliding downwards and reach and a with uniform velocity draw locus of point p first draw vertical link oa length of oa link is given 80 mm from o point locate 60 degree angle line and draw arc and this arc cover 60 degree angle now here this link is oscillated right side up to 60 degree angle and return to its original position so next take uniform position of link here 60 degree angle divide into equal four parts at 15 degree angle mark here position of a point a1 a2 a3 a4 from a4 position this link return to its original position so for return oscillating motion locate uniform position of link a5 a6 a7 and a8 here when this link return its original position at same time point p slide downwards from o to a so divide this initial position of link oa into equal eight parts and mark here 
zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight position. Next, find out locus point for different uniform position of link A one to A eight. Now, initially, locus point P zero is at O point. For P one locus point, consider O A one link radius O one and cut arc on O A one link. Next, for P two locus point, take radius O two and cut arc on O two position of link. Next, for P three locus point, take radius O three. And cut R on O3 position of link. Similarly, cut R from O point on A4 position of link, A5 position of link, A6 position of link, and A7 position of link. Mark here locus point as P1, P2. P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, and P8. Connect this all locus point freehandly. So this is indicate locus of P point for oscillating motion of link O A right side up to 60 degree angle and return to its original. Position. Next, let us understand example of rotating link. Road AB, hundred mm long, revolves in clockwise direction for one revolution. Meanwhile, point P, initially on A, starts moving towards B and reach B. Draw locus of point P. First, draw. AB road length of AB road is given 100 mm. From center point of AB road, draw circle, which is indicate path or locus of A and B point when this road revolve from center point. Next, locate uniform eight position of AB road. For one complete revolution in clockwise direction, and mark here A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, uniform position of road AB. Here, when the AB road complete its one revolution in clockwise direction, meanwhile. Point P move from A to B. So divide this AB line into equal eight parts. Here initial position of point P is at A position. Mark here division points of AB road as one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now for locus point finding, take center. At four point, radius four one, and cut arc on A one road. Similarly, take center four, radius four two, and cut arc on A two road. Next, take radius four three, and cut arc on A three road. Here, this arc is common for. A3 and A5 road, and this arc is common for A2 and A6 road. So next, find out A7 position on A7 road. So take center is 4, radius 4 7, and cut arc on A7 road. Next, locate locus point. On particular position of AB road, here locate P1 locus point, here locate P2 locus point, 
P3 locus point, P4 locus point, P5 locus point, P6 locus point, P7 locus point and at last locate here P8 locus point. Here you can see when AB road revolve from its center up to 45 degree angle then locus point P on this road move its one position. Similarly for second position of AB road P2 point move its two position. For A3 position of road P3 point move linearly its three position. Similarly for A4 position of road P4 locus point move its four linear position. Next for A5 position of road P5 locus point move its five position on this road. Next for P6 locus point for A6 position of AB road move its linear six position. For A7 position of road P7 point move linearly its seven position and at last at eight position of the road its cover 100 mm distance and it reach at B point. So this B point indicate locus P8. Next connect all locus point freehandly in form of curve. This is indicate locus of P point for one complete revolution of AB road. So this is the end of this session. See you soon in next coming video lecture. Thank you.